So in this demo, I'm going to continue what we started. We've modeled our walls uh, using extrude, and now we're going to create the door openings and model the door leaf. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back into plan view, and I'm going to switch back into wireframe so that I can see all my lines. And what I want to do is it's the same concept of making the wall. So we're going to draw polylines and then we'll extrude them up. And then once we've got the extrusion, we can subtract that extrusion from the wall uh, extrusion. So I'm going to do a polyline and I'm going to start here with some of these exterior doors. close and then I'm just going to copy that one because our door opening should be the same size and in fact I'm going to copy this one here and then just extend it over Okay, so now I've got three polylines for our door openings in the front. I'm going to do a couple on the interior as well so I'm going to switch my layer to the interior. Let's try that again. Do it this way. To the interior 3D. It doesn't really matter for these, but sometimes it's helpful to have the um, extrusions on the different layers. So again, polyline. Just going to go around the opening here. And again, I can copy. put in just a few here. I'm not going to do absolutely every single opening. Okay, let's stretch these guys over. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into my 3D view. Just going to click on the corner here. And we want to extrude those uh, polylines that we just created. So I'm going to start with some of these interior ones because I'm already on that layer. So I'm going to go back to my solid tab here, select extrude, and then select, let me freeze my XREF again. Sometimes it's hard to select what you want to on these. Alright, so let's do extrude. And let's see where a couple more of these are. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify my height. So I'm going to move my cursor up just a little bit and type in 7 feet. So now I've got these volumes uh, in the door opening. So I want to create the ones on the exterior wall. So again, I'm going to switch my layer. doesn't make a huge difference, but um, I like to be consistent. So let's do extrude. and then go up seven feet. All right, so now what we want to do is subtract these extrusions from our walls. So if I could switch back into one of these shaded ones, you can see you can see where those volumes are, but what we want is that opening. So let me go back into, whoops, cancel, go back into wireframe. and then we're going to subtract these. So we're going to look for the subtract tool and it's first going to ask us what we want to subtract from. So let's select our exterior wall. And I'm done selecting what I want to subtract from so I'm going to hit enter and then it's asking us for what we want to subtract. So I'm going to select these three volumes and hit enter and you can see now that it's subtracted those. So let's do a few of these interior ones as well and we'll go to subtract and it gets a little trickier to figure out where all of the walls are. All right, and hit enter and then subtract that, that. All right, let's 
see how we did. Okay, so it looks pretty good there. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to switch into one of the shaded views so that we can see that we've now got openings where those um, the doors are. So now what we want to do is we want to model the door leaf itself. So I'm going to go back to my plan view, go back into wireframe, and I want to thaw my XREF layer. And now I'm going to zoom back in here. Now I for sure want to switch my layer and go to my A door 3D. And again, I'm just going to draw polylines. So I'm going to draw a polyline for this door. And close. Now this time I'm just going to switch to 3D view and go ahead and extrude that polyline. Select Extrude. Let me send this to the back. Okay, I can find my polyline here. Let's go ahead and freeze that. All right, there it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and extrude, select my polyline, and then go up, and I'm going to extrude at 7 feet. Now I'm going to thaw my XREF again here. What we can do now, the beauty of AutoCAD is reusable data, so I can just copy this extrusion. because all of these doors are three feet. So they're all the same size. So I can just come in and copy it wherever my door leaves are and not have to draw the polyline each time and do the extrusion each time. Put in this last one. Okay, so now again let's switch to our, our uh, other view just to get an idea of what it's starting to look like. And you can see now it's starting to you know give it a sense of scale with those openings in and those doors. So it, and you can certainly create if you want to create a door that's um, got panels in it, if it's a door that's got glass in it, you can do the same idea and um, use extrude and uh, you know the um, the union and subtract tools to create as complicated a door as you want to. But this just gives you the, the basic flat door leaf and the openings and like I said starts to give it a little scale. 